Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to deploy SSRS, the SQL Server Reporting Services, using Visual Studio 2013. If your Visual Studio 2013 is also connected with Team Foundation Server, you can get the Team Foundation Server uh, solution, uh, reporting services solution from Team Foundation Server and deploy it on a target reporting, SQL Server reporting server. So in this video, we're going to learn how to do that. So I'm going to go in my uh, client machine where I have Visual Studio installed and I'm going to actually open uh, SQL Server data tools. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, here's the SQL Server data tools. I'm going to go ahead and open that. And I already have a um, solution that is a reporting services solution right here. And you, if you have a Team Explorer installed uh, with the uh, SQL Server data tools, you can connect with Team Foundation Server and go to the particular folder where your res uh, solution exists and open your solution. And once you open the solution, it's going to open up in uh, Solution Explorer just like this. And as you can see that I have my solution here, uh, it's called test, and I have uh, my shared data source. I have uh, my sh shared data set and right here I have the test.rdl. So uh, in order for us to uh, go ahead and deploy this particular report, uh, you can uh, also deploy this particular whole project which may contain multiple data sources which may contain multiple reports. You can go ahead and right click on this on, on this uh, reporting services project and click on properties. If you look at the properties right here, we have some options. Uh, if you look at here, deployment, overwrite the data sets, false. Overwrite the data sources, false. That means that if we have the data uh, sources, it won't take the da shared data sources and shared data sets uh, from there. Uh, from from our res, uh, solution if it's a new solution that you're implementing on SQL Server reporting services then you might want to make this true for the first deployment and keep it false for the next uh, deployment one thing I do want to mention that if it's true every time that you would um, uh, deploy your solution it's going to override the data sets and data sources once your data sources are overwritten all the security set on the reporting services if you have the permission to do that is going to reset that and you need to uh, reset the security on your um, uh, data sources um, on uh, uh, SQL Server reporting services so up here is a target folder target folder right here is target report folder and target report everything else is set and if you would like um, to uh, change your server right here is where you provide your SQL Server reporting services let's say this the my SQL Server reporting services is production you would like to deploy it in test first there here is where you need to give the reporting services URL and if your reports are um, built in 2005 or uh, less than 2008 then this SQL Server data tools is not a right tool for you you have to do it in bids which is which is business intelligence data uh, uh, data um, uh, SQL Server data uh, tool that's a it's, it's called bids and you need to use that if if you have uh, done your reports your solution into bids then you can uh, uh, go ahead and deploy it in uh, a solution that is um, uh, to uh, SQL Server 2005 um, and uh, SQL Server 2008 but uh, if you have SQL Server 2008 R2 or later and you your reports are built uh, in Visual Studio 2012 2013 you can go ahead and apply that so up here you can change that if you look at this that you can detect the version the version means that uh, it's gonna uh, uh, detect the version of your report reports or data um, uh, any reports that you have up here if any report has a conflict with the version it's gonna go ahead and tell you that but uh, this is the main thing that I wanted to show you in this video that uh, this is how you can uh, go ahead and um, um, 
you know configure your reports and, uh, and the data sources whether you wanted it to false or true you can go ahead and do that so we're gonna go ahead you can uh, deploy a single report or you can deploy the whole solution let's say that uh, I'm going to go ahead and deploy the whole solution well, I'm going to right click and deploy solution it's always good idea to go ahead and actually look at your properties because you might use the same uh, um, Visual Studio to deploy it on production and deploy it on uh, your test environments so you might want to look into that up here uh, as you can see it's a deployed onto uh, Tech Brothers SQL report server and the build is successful and the deployment is successful and this is how you deploy uh, you you grab the if you have a team foundation a team explorer right here you're gonna go ahead and connect with the team foundation server you're gonna go to that particular folder that your developer sent in your uh, promotion to production um, documents so you're gonna go ahead and click on that and go into that particular folder get the res uh, solution out here and if there are particular reports needs to be deployed you can click on just the report and deploy it or you can click on the whole resolution uh, a whole whole solution I'm sorry and go ahead and deploy that and I hope this video helps.